Today I have in here something very very special. This is a rod sent me by Mifine, which is a prototype. That's why there's no labeling on the sleeve. And if we open it, I don't know if you can see it yet, but it's also a super ultra light rod. But this one, if you are from northern Northern Europe, you will know what it is. This is a rod for jigging. So the specs on this rod, you can see it. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guides. The tip, it's I think 0.7 millimeters because you have the epoxy in here. I measured at 0.8. The weight, it's 55 grams. And, I don't know if the camera will focus, the cast weight, it's from 0.2 of a gram to 0.8 of a gram. This rod basically is for a fishing technique, like this. So, you are tapping the ash from your cigarette on, a preferably a place where you don't have a lot of current. So, on a canal, when you're on a ledge, in my case, when I'm on a bridge, that's why on my, I'm on this location, I have a bridge over there with very very slow current and a lot of small fish. Um, the rod, it's very very cool looking, the butt section, I don't know if you can see, it's carbon fiber, very very thin, you can only mount the reel. For the reel, I already unboxed this, it's the Teropos. I don't know how to say it better, but it's from Linu. It's also very, very lightweight. It's 128 grams. So a very, very light combo. So 128 grams plus 55. It's very, very low. It's 183 grams, I think. If I'm wrong, I will dub over this part because I don't like to seem dumb. And you can see it it's perfectly because you will fish this rod i think almost like this uh, completely leveled against the water so very very nice balance point and in here i have the handing blast braid eight pounds um, and some um, six pound fluoro carbon from daiwa i will try this rod see how it is I also have to provide some feedback to me fine but overall it seems like very very suited for when I'm fishing the straight 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 creek that you see going through the park you see me fish there I'll put some clips of me fishing there and I can also fish this bridge and probably if the summer doesn't get too dry I will probably be able to fish the other bridge that you usually see me fishing on the other creek but I will zip it and start fishing right now I'll see you guys in a bit I don't know if you can see well the combo but it's actually a pretty cool combo a lot of carbon fiber exposed and the presentation I'm using today you will not have the sense of scale the soft plastic is a I think one inch soft plastic and I had to trim like half the fattest portion of the of the soft plastic it's very 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 small i think this is the equivalent of a 20 size hook so very very small let's see if i can make a cast and catch some fish on the bridge even with low current it's very very hard to position this this plastic Going with a bit bigger imitation, this one should be around 0.3 grams, but I'll probably be able to position it, it better. With such low current and with this even low grammage lure, it's 0.3 grams, yeah. I have no problems positioning the presentation and working it there in the same exact spot. And you will see me now do a overhand cast, you don't need it. The best way to cast this uh, rod, it's lobbing. 
we just lob the, uh, the lure from down to up and let it fall. Uh, yes. Right in here, the fish just beat the presentation right on the fall. That's the way the chub work here in very, very shallow areas. And even in the deeper ones, they will just eat everything on the fall. Very, very fat guy. And there he goes. It just throw it in the water deep enough so it can swim away for another day and you can see in here that the presentation really looks like a shrimp these soft plastics also have a shrimp flavor i don't know if it does anything but first one on the mifine prototype and the linu pteropos bite Very, very sensitive rod. I'm feeling bites. I don't know if you can see the bait fish over there. They're very, 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 very small. By small, I mean under three centimeters, around one and a half inches. So very, 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 very small. And I can feel them nibbling. So casting on this rod, it's probably a thing of doing this. Yeah. not worth it of stressing with overhand casts this is basically a rod for you to lob you just lob your lure Ooh, big fish over there And yeah. Very, very skittish, the bigger fish. So I will just change locations. You will see in a bit that I will appear on a different place and on a different timeline. And I will explain you why. Ah, I really hate myself for not filming catching that fish. What a crap show. Yes. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. This was a feisty one. Let's stop the alarm. Pretty, pretty cool guy. Right on the fall. Thank you. Maybe them are warming up. I have to go now. You, you heard the alarm. I just finish recording the outro and I missed one fish catch because of the stupidity I had the <laughs> camera off for some reason today I was testing two things firstly the Linu Pteropos and a prototype rod from Mifine the Nano Jig I am throwing very 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 small stuff I am using this rod because it's a very very slow current but I think I'm out of the feeding window, so I'm fishing like three or four hours after the sun is going up in a, I would say, first third of the day, but still very, very, very hard conditions. And I managed only to catch two fish. I think only one of them on, on camera, but it was probably the same size. It was just 10 minutes ago on the spot that I am right now. I'm running out of time. I probably fish with this rod and reel more. Uh, I don't know if this will be the last send out, but the rod is very, very sensitive. And when you are on low current uh, situations, you have a lot of feel, even with 
tiny ass presentations like the one that I have in here which is about 0.2.3 grams very very small plastic it looks like a shrimp uh, still the feeding it's very very hard but you can feel even tiny 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 fish sucking on the end of that soft plastic uh, probably continue to test this I, I if this rod arrived like two months ago where I could go on that tiny walled creek that would be perfect but I will do what what I have I will probably use this also on the the pockets when I'm waiting because it's a very very slow technique and I can use this rod the rod it's very very comfortable it's very very uh, balanced with this reel but the reel is 128 grams the reel I want to do some further testing because it's it feels a bit sloppy uh, maybe you should go with the Castrol or the Tegman this is the same price it's just I think 5 grams or uh, 7 grams less than the Castrol and I think 10 grams less than the Tegman you would be better off with that because there's some play in here but it works it's uh, fairly smooth other than the play that it has no noises but I did not really catch anything that would stress the reel the I also testing the handing blast braid the 8 pound it's a bit overkill for this setup but I really don't trust my knots and this gives me plenty of confidence and it's 0.1 millimeter so it's not that thick uh, but it's coming out of the reel with no problems it's not biting itself which is a good thing I really hate that and I will see you guys next time bye